Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Paychecks and Prayers. Here in our channel, you'll see some cash stuffing videos of our expenses, some savings goals, and occasionally we'll do a cash condensing video and exchange our real bills for prop bills to then take to the bank, like in today's video. Please stick around and join me on our video today. Well, hi friends, how are you doing today? So it's another cash condensing video. Yay, I am so excited. I love watching cash condensing videos. They're so satisfying and I hope I do a really good job for you guys. So I'm also gonna be doing like an October recap. So that's what I have here in front of me. And to start off, I do wanna take out the finished savings challenge, the 1000 savings challenge that I completed so that we can take that to the bank and pay an extra thousand dollars to our boat loan. Let's go ahead and start off with that. All right, so I'll be going into my savings challenge finder and back here in our thousand savings challenge. Oh my God, you guys, we completed this. Let me put this aside. So in here we should have $1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So we will be using this money to exchange some lower bills and in here I have some prop money actually so let's go ahead and take that out so let's pull aside these hundreds and these thousands I will be using those as well because we'll also be taking back some other money All right, and now that we took that out, I will go ahead and wipe this off off camera so that we can restart it. This was such a good savings challenge. I highly recommend it. It was from Genevieve Design Studios. Absolutely loved it. And we started this around in July, so like mid-July when I first started my channel here. So yeah, great savings challenge. All right, you guys, like I mentioned, I did wanna take back some money. So I don't know, let's just go ahead and jump right in into our cash condensing. I guess we have plenty on the tray for right now. So let's just give this a start and we'll take out as we need and we'll go along. So for our annual fees, it looks like we started with 194 and we are ending with 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 555, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So 560 is what we're ending with. So we'll keep the 100s for sure and we'll keep a 50. And we don't have any 10s yet. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to keep that for now. But this should be 200. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 82. Perfect, we'll put this down and grab $200. All right, and then we'll come back to this one. So we ended the month with $560. So that was a positive change of $366. Awesome. Association is ending with 136. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so let's just trade these in for in 100 so 20 40 60 81 wow that one was a really bad 20. all right so 136 and we can also probably come back to this one once we get more lower denominations on the tray and that was a positive change of 136. all right so moving on to car insurance this is one that we're taking back to the bank so we already have in the bank five six seven eight hundred and then in cash, we have 5,950, 1,000. So I'm gonna put this all back, actually. So I'm gonna put back this placeholder and these ones, and I'm actually gonna get a 1,000 prop placeholder here. I just got my um, car insurance notice that it's due now November 23rd. So we are close. I think it's gonna run us around $1,200, so we'll get it stuffed just in time. So we ended the month with a thousand. That was a positive change of $200. All 
All right, and car maintenance is at 130. That is fully condensed. So that means we had a positive change of 20. Car registration is ending with $70. So 50, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. All right, so let's just put this all down for a 20. So that's 70 in car registration. That was a change of $12. Awesome. Costco has nothing. <laughs> so we had a negative change of 375 there. Household is ending with 120. That is fully condensed in there. And that was a change of $105. Toiletries is a new category, so it's not on here, but we'll just give it a count and I'll add it. I have to edit my um, spreadsheet to add this new category, but it's ending with 20, 40, 45, 50. So we'll put all of this down for a 50. And we finally have some fives on the table. So let me actually go back and let's go into annual fees. Yeah, and let's put this all down for a 10. And let's see, association, 20, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put all of this down and grab a five. maintenance is fully condensed car registration costco okay nice quick progress there all right so moving on to medical in medical we are ending with 50 dollars, and that's what it has there was a huge change in this because i finally paid off one of my medical bills i'm so happy about that oops type too fast 321 minus 50 is a negative change of $271. For dental, we are ending the month with 110. So that was a positive change of 10. Vision, we're ending the month with 130 in there. So that was also a positive change of 10. For our PUP fund, it's ending with 25. Oof, so that one also took a big hit this month, but he had a huge medical bill and I'm glad I was able to pay for that in cash. So he had a negative change of $380. Wow. For our month ahead, we are ending with one, two thousand, one, two, three, four hundred in the bank and five hundred dollars total. So I'm actually gonna put all these down a grab a five hundred dollar prop bill. So that represents two thousand five hundred dollars in month ahead. That's awesome. And I actually got my vellum placeholders from Breathe in Budget. So I will leave her Etsy shop and her YouTube down in the description below so you guys can check it out. Our Just In Case is also ending with the same $1,000. And there was no change there. All right, so let's just quickly add up those totals and see what we are ending with for our High Priority Minder. All right, so it looks like we are ending the month of October with $5,831. So that was actually a negative change of $327 total. 
Not too bad. I thought that was definitely going to take a bigger hit. All right, you guys, moving on to my low priority binder. So in Manifest, we do have money to take back to the bank, but currently it has one, two, three, four hundred dollars total, and that's in the bank. And we're taking back 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So we will put all this down. And we'll also put these down because we'll take a $500 prop. And that will represent everything that is in the savings account for Manifest. That's nice. $500. So happy about that. And that was actually a positive change of $100. Perfect. For our anniversary, we're also taking some money back. We have $200 already in the bank. And in, the, in here in cash, we have $50, $70, $90, $110, $130. And $130. So let's keep one of these 20s. Let's put all this down. I don't, I ran out of 10s. So I will put two fives to represent the 30. But really, we need in here another $100 prop. So it should be 330. One, two, 300. 25, 30. And we'll come back to this one if we get any more tens. But 330 is our ending balance. And that was a change of $80. Our beauty envelope is one of our newest categories as well. I will add it in the next sinking funds tracker so i have to definitely update this but it's ending with 20 dollars, and that's what it has in there cheers started with 100 and it's now ending with 20 45 55 so 55 i'll put all these down and I'll just keep one of these fives right one of the better fives i guess oof these fives are all crummy And a 50, so 55 and cheers. So that is a negative change of 45. Yep. All right, for clothing, it started off with $60, and now we are ending with 120, 40, 55, 60. So let's keep that 10 and we'll trade this in for a 50. And that was a total positive change of $100. Nice. Date night started off with 50 and it's ending with 55. So that was a positive change of five. Gardening started the month with 75. It is now up to 50, 70, 80, 90, 115 dollars. So let's put this all down and let's grab. So now we have tens. So let's grab that 100 and put it in here for 115. And that was a positive change of $40. So which one is the one again that I needed to put? I think it was, yep, it was date night. So let's put down these fives and let's get one of these tens for the 30. Okay. I think we're squared away there. Gifts is ending with $10, and that's what it has, $10. So that was a negative change of $120. Going out has nothing. So that is actually a change of $75, so a negative change there. Hobbies is ending with 15 So that was a negative change of 30. 
All right, home decor started with 95 and we're ending the month with 50, 70, 90, 100. I'm sorry, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 185, 95. So $195. So we'll keep the 50, the 70. Let's get a good 20. So that is 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. Awesome. I'm just going down for a 100. So that should, should still be 195. 150, 70, 95. Perfect. In home decor. That was a positive change of $100. Awesome. Hosting started the month with $100. It is ending with $50. So that was a negative change of $50. And we did have some family over, so it came in handy. Splurge started off the month with um, $50, and it's now ending with $10. So that was a negative change of $40. Technology started off the month with 170 and we ended with 150 70 80 90 210 dollars so 50 70 80 91 we'll trade all this in for a 100 so now we have 210 in there perfect so I believe that was a positive change of 40. That is correct. Awesome. YouTube is another category that is brand new. It's ending with five, 10, 15, $20. So let's go ahead and trade that in for a 20. And next time around, we'll add it to the spreadsheet. But for now, that is fully condensed. And let's go ahead and add up all of our totals. So let's see what our ending balance is for our low priority binder. Nope, that is correct. 1,705 from 1,600 is a positive change of $105. All right, not too bad. All right, you guys, I did want to share with you, I did get this binder in the mail. I was waiting for this for a while. I'm so happy it came in. It's my new vacation binder. What do you guys think about it? Isn't it adorable? I got this from Binrad. It, take a while, it did take a while to get here, but the girl, Maria, the one who I was talking with back and forth, she was so sweet and she sent it to me and I absolutely love it. So this is going to be our vacation binder from here on out. And in here, we started off the month with $0 because we went on that cruise in September. So for October, we had no money, so we've been stuffing it. And in the here, we should all have, so all of these categories should have $20. So 5, 10, 15, 20, that is correct. And we'll put all of these down and just trade it in for 20s. So I will speed this up so you guys won't get too bored. a little longer than I thought but anyways we got it done so all of these are fulfilled and let's go ahead and I believe there's 10 categories so 20 times 10 that means that we stuffed a total of $200 in our vacation binder so that is a positive change of $200 very nice all right you guys moving on to the holidays binder Starting off with New Year's, let's see. So we are ending the month with 150, 70, 80, yeah, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. $190. So that was a positive change of 30. 
Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, we'll just put all this down. So this should be still, oh, let me get a better 50. All right, so this is 150, 70, 90, perfect. All right, so for Valentine's Day, we started off with 82 and we are ending with 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So $109, we'll be keeping the five and the singles. So let's go ahead and turn this all in for a $100 bill. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. All right, and that was a change of $27. Easter is ending the month with 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 71. So we'll keep the 50 and we'll trade this in for a 20, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. I love this little bunny that um, Taryn gave me when I did my order. So cute, right? All right, so 71 minus 52. That was a positive change of $19. Awesome. For Mother's Day, we're, adding, we're ending the month with $48. Okay, so that's easy. That was a positive change of $10. So 20, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's just keep put back this 10. We'll keep one of these fives. And then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> We're putting in a 20. So yeah, 20, 45, 46, 47, 48 dollars total. That one has a little nasty. We can trade these in, right? We have better ones. There we go, much better. All right, Father's Day is ending with $23. I'll just get a better 20. All right, so 23 in Father's Day. And that was a change of $9. Fourth of July is ending with 15. That one had no change for this month. We really didn't stuff for Fourth of July. So still ending with 15, no change there. Halloween, however, we spent it all. And it was 150, I believe the page was giving us. So it did start off the month with 91, but we have no money there. So that was a negative change of 91. Thanksgiving, however, is up to $150, and that one is fully funded. We finished that savings challenge already. Very nice. So that was a change of $27. Christmas is ending with $210, $152.10. We'll trade these 50s for the last... Oops, meant to grab one. So $210 in Christmas. I wish I had 310. So that was a positive change of $55. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and give this all account and see where we're at. So it looks like we ended 
the month with $816 in our holidays savings check. I'm sorry, holidays, you know, binder. And that was a positive change of $86 in our binder. Awesome. So let's move on to our boat binder. All right, so moving on to our boat binder. For repair and maintenance, we're ending the month with 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 25, 35, 40. So 240, let's keep the best 20s and we'll trade this all in. This should be $100, 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100. All right, that was our final $100 bill. So we are left with 240, perfect. That is correct. And it looks like that was a positive change of $100. Registration for the boat is ending with 25, 35, 40. So we'll put all of these down for a 20, making it 40 in there. All right, so that means that was a positive change of 20. Equipment is ending with 20, 40, 55, $60. So we will trade all of this in. And actually, we'll take back a 10 and a 50. Let's grab a better 50. So $60 in there total now for equipment. So that means that was a change of $20 as well. Gasoline is ending with $300 and we started off the month with $500. All right, so that was a negative change of $200. Fishing gear is ending the month with $55, 65 75 So $75. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so we'll trade all of this in. And we will grab a decent 20. So that's 75 still for fishing gear. And that was a positive change of $19. Awesome. Miscellaneous is ending with 25, 35, 40. So let's put that down for a 20. So 40 still in miscellaneous. All right, so that was a positive change of 20. All right, let's add these up. So we ended the month with $755. So it looks like that was a negative change of $21 total. So between two of those binders, so if we add up 816 plus 755, that will give us a grand total of $1,571. So we had a grand total change of, between these two binders, a positive change of 65. Awesome. All right, you guys, let's move on to our savings challenges. I'm gonna skip the one so we can leave that for last and that way we can have a little bit of room in here. So for our $5 savings challenge, we are ending the month with, we have already 100 in the bank, 20, 35, 45, 55. Very nice, so we're ending the month with 155 in there. So I'll trade this all in. Oof, that's a lot of fives to count at the end. I'm trading all that in for a 50. 
so we still have 155 in our five dollar savings challenge that's awesome This will all go towards Christmas, so I'm really excited to start Christmas shopping. Let me know if you guys have already started or not. I have not started yet, but I know I need to get a move on on that pretty soon. We have a big family. For our tens, oops, we are ending the month with one $210. So I'm actually gonna take this back to the bank. We'll put in a prop placeholder there. Let me trade in this 10 for a prettier 10 since we have some on here. All right, so 210 in there. We are so close in finishing these. I'm so excited. I think next month I'll be able to catch these along pretty quick. So that was a positive change of 40. Yes, it was a positive change of 40. Awesome. Our $20 bill savings challenge is ending the month with one, two, 300 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80 dollars. So we'll keep one of these 20s, I guess. So I can put these down and get a 20. 50, 70, 80. So three hundred and eighty dollars. Awesome. So that means that was a positive change of eighty. For a one hundred dollar bill savings challenge, we added. Let's see. We have five, six, seven. One so eight hundred dollars total. I am gonna put this down and grab a, another prop. So we have eight hundred dollars total for this Christmas fund. Awesome, and for this one hundred dollar savings challenge, I'm definitely not gonna finish this whole thing, but we're gonna get pretty close to a thousand, I believe, for sure. So that was a change of one hundred dollars. And for our 1K savings challenge, you already know we finished it. And our $200 Soul Mama budgets, we finished that one. So I remember we finished off with $1,000 here. So let's just say that was negative, but this was positive 400. Alrighty. Let's add these up real quick. Oh my God, wait, I forgot the $1 savings challenge. <laughs> we need to get into that. I know everybody is excited about the $1 savings challenge. I know I am. So let's go ahead and give this all a count. Let's see how much we saved this whole month in our dollars. This is money that went unspent and I'm excited. I can't wait. I love doing the saving challenge. You know how much I love it. I highly recommend it. And all these dashboards are actually from Carrie J Budgets and she has an Etsy shop that I'll link down below for you guys so you can see all of our savings challenges. Let's give this all a quick count and see where we ended for the month of October. So in our $1 saving challenge, we managed to save five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 75 dollars that went unspent that's impressive and this vibe has seen better days definitely putting that one to the back and all of these ones and we're gonna grab ourselves a 50 a 20 and definitely a better five that equals 75 that i'll put back here and we have managed to save so far since i started my youtube journey here um, we managed to save one hundred, two hundred and seventy-five dollars dollars that have not been spent. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. I'm proud of ourselves to sticking with this challenge, and it's definitely 
definitely come in handy for our Christmas fund. I will go ahead and put this back, but rest assured I will clean it off and we'll start off fresh for the month of November. Awesome. Oh, that just became so much skinnier. Now let's add it up and see where we're at. So we managed to save $2,820 total, and that was a positive change of $620 that we added this month for our savings challenges. Awesome. And 75 of that came from dollars that we didn't spend. That is amazing. So we only put in 545. That, that's just, that's mind blowing to me. All right, moving on to the remaining half of my savings challenges. So for the 50 envelope, this one will go to medical emergency once it's done. We managed to save. So we have one, two, three, 400 in the bank. 50, 70, 90, 510, 30, 50, 70, 90, 95, 600, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So $606. It looks like I'll be putting back $200. Yeah, let's grab a better five and leave one of the ones. So we'll put all of this down. Grab a better five and let's leave this cute little rainbow. Oh, actually, I love that one, the beloved. Yep, and I'll put this down so I can grab a $500 prop placeholder. That is awesome. So we now have 600 in the bank and $6 for this 50 envelope savings challenge. Awesome. So the difference is we were able to save $165 this month. That's awesome. All right, for our $500 savings challenge, it'll go towards our vision. So for like our glasses, contacts, etc., we are now up to one, two, 300 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, another hundred. So that's $410. So we'll put this all down. I will grab a 10. And we'll grab another prop. I love this cute little, oh, this is cute, the little T. And now we have in here the correct amount, $410. That's awesome. So that means we were able to add $100 to that challenge. For our 26 week challenge, it is now up to, and once it's done, sorry, it'll go to our dental. We are now up to one, two, 300, 450, 70, 90, 510, $512. Definitely trade these in, these crusty dusty ones for two better ones. And let's see, 150, 70, 90, what is that, 210? Yeah, so let's put this all down and we'll grab a 10 and $2, two, $200, or sorry, so this is actually 500 total. So let's grab a $500 prop placeholder. That is awesome. Let me grab a better one. This one is kind of messed up there. So $512 is what we're ending in here. And that was a positive change of $196. Wow. For our 1K emergency fund, which will go to our medical emergency, is now up to one, two, three, 400 in the bank, 550, 70, 90, 610, 630, 640 dollars. 
I know I had some good 20s go in, so let's take those out and we'll put this all down. So we'll leave one of these, put this all down and grab a $500 prop. So we are up to $640 in here, folks. That's impressive. So that was a $300 change actually. Oh no, I hope I didn't mess that up. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna have to look back. Wait, did I do that right? Yeah, so we started with 340, we're ending with 640. Oh my God, I nearly gave myself a heart attack. <laughs> So 640 and that was a positive change of $300 actually. So very nice. Okay, we will move on to these to cash condense. But first I just wanted to give this all a quick count. So we are ending with $2,168. And that was a positive change of $761, you guys. That's impressive. So the total for this page, if we add up the subtotal for our first savings challenges plus the second, that gives us a total saved of $4,988 which is a change of $1,381 saved. So that does that for this. Let's just continue cash condensing. Let's go into this character savings challenge. And we have in here 51, 113. Let's get a better 10 actually. And let's get better ones because we can. We have this stack of ones and there's three better ones there. We'll trade this in for a 100 and that is fully condensed. All right, moving on to Stephopoly. We're up to 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78. All right, let's just, let's definitely get a better five. That one is terrible. And let's get three ones. All right, 20, 40, 50. We can leave one of these 20, so 20, 30, 40, 50. All right. So 150, 75, 76, 77, and 78. This one is not the best one. That one's a little better. All right. Let's move on to our emergency savings. All of these are gonna go towards debt. So in here we now have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So let's leave one of these fives. Let's just drop all of this so I can get better bills. So a 50, and let's get 10. So 50, 70, 80, 85. For our mystery scratch off, we are up to 20, 30, 45, 55, 65, 75, 76, 77. Okay. All right, let's leave. So we have here 27. So this should be here 50. 10, 25, 35, 45, 50. Okay. Awesome, so 77 in our mystery scratch off. 
And for our diamond savings challenge, let's leave one of these 50s because we have 150. And this savings challenge is from Taryn. It's here to remind me. All right, so 150 in that diamond savings challenge. Awesome. All right, that did a huge, huge, huge condensing in there. Very good. Let's cash condense our birthdays binder. I just kind of, you know, I don't keep track of this because I obviously spend it when the birthdays come around. Um, I don't want to touch November because I know exactly what I need for there, but we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars. And I think I'm just gonna grab two fifties for this one. To keep it at 100 in October we already spent a hundred so this will probably roll over or help out with November December birthdays because let's be honest I still need to wipe that out I haven't done that yet but for my mom's birthday envelope she should be up to fifty dollars so 20 35 45 50 My dad's birthday envelope should be up to $40, 25, 35, 40. So we'll trade this in for a 20. So that makes it 40. For me and you, should be at $180. So we have 51, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So. Let's do all 20, so we'll put this down. We'll grab two 20s. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. $180, awesome. That works out. So in my father-in-law's birthday envelope, he is now up to 50, 75, 85, 90. We'll trade these fives for a 20 so 90 in there and the same is for my mother-in-law she should be up to 90 as well 50 75 85 90 and we'll trade these in for a 20 so that is 90 dollars in her birthday envelope as well very nice all right, you guys, if you made it this far, we have finally condensed all of our binders and we are gonna get ready to give this all account. I did wanna quickly show that I did have some side notes. So we should be taking back to the bank $2,400. So that's what should be in here. And hopefully we get to that number. <laughs> let's go ahead and give this all account. But first, let's show you, oh my God, look at all of these fives, you guys and all of these ones. Look at that stack. That is crazy. That is a crazy amount of money to be counting and cash condensing. I'm so happy to have this completely condensed. All of this money was bulking up our binders and yeah, this is just going straight to the bank. That looks so pretty. All right, let's quit playing with this and give it all a count. Starting off with the 100s, we'll trust our trusty calculator to do this because that's a lot of cash. So 100 to start off with. So in the 50s, we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 50, 500 in 50s. And in our 20s, we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 420. All right, for the tens, we don't have much, so we have in here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 190 in 10s. Oh my God, you guys, look at the stack of fives that I have to count. This is crazy. I think I'm gonna have to split this in half for sure. 
So let's start off. 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 5, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. So that's $300 in one, I'm sorry, in fives. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. So that's 400, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 1. So this is all $500 in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty five, thirty five, forty five, fifty five, sixty five, seventy five, eighty. All right, so this was five hundred and eighty in fives. Now for the ones, we have. Oof, I don't know if I can. This is going to be a little difficult to count. Let's start off with these crummy ones. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. So that's $50 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. And here we should have $10 left, hopefully. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yay, we did that correctly. We ended with $2,400, which will be going straight to the bank. Thank you guys so much for watching today's cash condensing video. If you have not checked out any of my other videos, I will go ahead and link them over here for you guys. But please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my future videos. And thank you guys so much for your love and support. I truly appreciate it. We can't wait to start off the November month. And yeah, straight after this, I will be stuffing my first November paycheck. So don't miss out on that. Thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.